Hi, I'm Elizabeth Townsend Gard um, from Just Want a Quilt, a research podcast coming out of Tulane University Law School. Today we have a video, a video, um, and we're doing a sew along, a sew along where Gigi Bai will be leading us through Jen Kingwell's The Gypsy Wife Quilt, which is awesome. Um, so these are videos that Gigi will produce um, and help us understand how to do it. And Corey Dutton, um, a law student, is going to learn to quilt. So um, it's for beginners, advanced people, even law students. Um, and it will be great. So uh, I hope this helps. So where do you find the pattern? Um, Jen Kinkwell's pattern can be found at Amazon. It's again called the Gypsy Wife Quilt. It's super popular. You can also get it at Uptown Needle and Craftworks here in New Orleans. Just um, look them up online and call them or at any quilt shop. So get the pattern and join us. Hi, guys. Okay, so we're working on the Olvade block. And I may have already started a video, but I messed up. So we're going to try again. And the key to it is finding this lovely illustration or coloring it yourself so that you can really keep track of what you're doing um, dark and light wise and keeping your A pieces where they're supposed to be. So I've done the first part of this block right here. So I have my dark purple flowers which I love, a lighter pink in the middle and the little green model um, piece right around it. So I've done one little section. Now I'm pinning it to get to do the next section. And um, I'm going to send this to Corey so that she can post it so that you can use it. I don't remember where I found it. It was a Pinterest. Somebody posted it up as a Pinterest. This is not exactly the right size, but I liked being able to look at the colors while I was um, doing this. So I also marked on here, given that I made the mistake earlier, I marked on here that I wanted my purple piece here, my green um, and white piece here, and my pink piece will be in the middle. So that way I knew when I went to pin it on. Don't forget, wherever you're starting, so I'm doing D1 and D2, I flip it over and I draw my fourth of an inch above the sew line so I can know where to place it for my, um, when I sew it, I'll have a, a quarter inch seam. And I also tested to make sure that this piece, when flipped up, covers up all the way to or over my um, seam allowance so that it's a nice big, so when I trim it up, it's all nice and pretty like so. Okay, so I'm going to go sew this down, and then I'll switch around and go to D3, and I'll add a piece that will fit over D3, then I'll do D4, and then I'll add my purple. I'll come back and show you when I add my purple. Okay. So I've got my pieces on from D1 to D2, D2, to, I mean D1 to D3, and D1 to D4. That's all listed on the back of here. So I've done this little section right here. Now I'm ready to add the purple piece, and I needed to be able to see where my sew line was. So what I did was I folded the paper down, and I trimmed a quarter of an inch from one end to the other so I could see where I was going to lay my purple piece down and have my seam allowance be perfect, sorry, wrong way, um, and not waste any of this fabric. It does need to be bigger than what you're um, normally going to cut, but if you lay it down like that, I'll turn it over and sew on this sew line, and I have this big piece left over. Um, after I trim everything down. So I'm going to put it under my machine, put the right side up, and I'm going to sew right on my, between D5 and the section with the D3, D1, D2, D4 in it. I've got my right sides together with my fabric. I'm sewing on the top of my um, paper so that I can see where my sew line is. And when I flip it over, that flips up, and I'll be able to trim all the way around on the dotted line and have my square look like this. I'll be halfway finished with my um, old maid. I feel like an old maid. Okay, so I have my two squares made that go like this with the darker, or whatever colors you choose to put in the middle. And now I'm working on 
this piece, sorry, um, these pieces. So we have, um, where am I? Square, well, hold on. There I am. I'm here, and now I've paid, I'm paid, piecing this one so that it will go underneath here. And you're just following the same paper piecing that we've been doing. Draw your line first so you know where to line it up. So between B1 and B2, I have a line that I drew so I could see through to the other side. That's my seam allowance. I put it from between that line I drew and the line that's on here where I sew. And I'm ready to take it to the machine. Make sure you flip it to the side that you can see your sew line. And you'll sew right along between B1 and B2. And hopefully everything will be great. Okay. Now I'm still pinning. I'm just, I like to pin. It makes me feel more comfortable. So this will end up being a triangle like this one. And um, I'm going to put another square like this fabric here on this side and right here. And I'll have a little triangle and I'll cut it and there'll be a triangle there. And I'll have two of the four that need to be done um, for each of these corners. I'm working, I'm working here. Sorry, I'm working here. And then I'll do this one and then I'll be ready to show you. I hope this is all making sense and that the paper piecing is working. But if it's not, cutting it, like she says in the book, is great too. Um, it's just a different way of doing it. It's just a freehand piecing. And sometimes when you're dealing with pieces that are a little bit on the angle, the bias that we talked about yesterday, it can get wonky. So the paper helps hold it so it doesn't get wonky. Okay, I'll be back with these. So now I have them put to, um, sewn, and I will put them together, one on top of the other, and nestle them together like we talked about yesterday or the day before, whenever you were working on it. Um, the way you've earned it, they should just fit right together like Legos and be nice and comfy in their little spot. Then we'll sew along our sew line right here. When we open it up, our points should meet and um, give us a nice, lovely part of our block. So I'll go ahead and sew that right now, right on the sew line, giving me a nice quarter inch seam. And when we open it up, there we have it. I'm not sure why that guy's up here. Oh, I didn't cut that evenly. Um, I have a little space there with the dotted line. I can still cut some off. And I'm going to open this up when I press it. Um, it's getting awfully thick. And so some people choose to do it to one side or the other. But I've been choosing to, as I'm paper piecing, when it gets thick, I just go ahead and open it up so that it lies flat. So I have this guy ready to go up in the corner right here. So you'll see he'll go up here. And then I've got this one that will go here. And the other piece, I have one more area that I need to fix and make, which is this. I'll sew these together. I'll sew these together. Then I'll sew those together. It doesn't really matter which way, um, as long as you keep your points in the middle right there. A little hourglass looking piece. Okay. Okay, so now we have it put together. And um, it's eight and a half inches. It'll be eight finished once it's put inside the quilt, and I'm really happy with it. I hope all of you are successful with your paper piecing of the old maid. And I know you can't really see these little squares right there, but they're cute, and hopefully it'll show up better. Um, oh, you know what? I think... These are supposed to, this is supposed to go that way too, but you know what? So. Okay, so I'm done with my old made block, fixed what was wrong. So as you see, things happen when you're rushing around trying to finish things up. And now it is all put together. I hope everyone else is successful 
with their old maid block and their paper piecing and um, I'll get these resources and um, hopefully Corey will have them up before this is all airing so that you'll have them to go. All right, see y'all for section three. This is Elizabeth Townsend Guard from Just Wanna Quilt. You've been listening to Gigi Bai take us through an aspect of the Gypsy Wife Quilt by Jen Kingwell. Make sure you get the pattern. You can get the pattern at Amazon or Uptown Needle and Craft Works here in New Orleans or at your local quilt shop. Um, you need the pattern to be able to understand what's going on. And then um, Gigi helps us through it. So join us. Come play with us. Come to our Facebook group, Just Want a Quilt. Uh, go to our website and be part of our newsletter where we'll help you through the Gypsy Wife Quilt. Um, that's just wanna quilt.com spelled w a n n a just wanna quilt um, and of course listen to our podcast it's available on iTunes Stitcher Spreaker and if you can't a chance to like it on those it would be super awesome <laughs>